Next Wednesday, the Jewish Family Services of Greater Hartford is going to host the viewing of a documentary at the Jewish Community Center in West Hartford. It's called Screenagers, Growing Up in the Digital Age. And joining us now to talk about that and about the problem of growing screen time use, I'm happy to have Dr. David Greenfield. He's an expert on behavioral addiction medicine. Thank you so much for being here today. You're glad, welcome. Yeah, glad to have you here. I know because this is a, it's something parents are really going to want to talk about, and it's certainly not just a problem for kids. Because, boy, it, it, I'm sure they didn't design them this way, but it almost seems like they're designed to be as addictive as possible. Well, they actually, although they're not designed to be addictive, they really are because they operate on what we call a variable ratio reinforcement. They're basically little slot machines. Mm. So smartphones, tablets, Computers, they all operate like a slot machine. Every once in a while, you find something good. You never know what it's going to be. And that keeps you checking it and elevates neurochemicals in the brain. I've read that app developers know that and they design do. their games around they, that. The app developers do know how we respond to these devices and what will make us respond more than other types of responses. Okay. So the first question I think parents will have out there is, how do I know if my child, or even if I have a problem? Is there an amount of time that is a there threshold? There really isn't an amount of time that you need to know. It's really the same warning signs that we look at with any addiction, which is changes in behavior, social relationships, physical activity, family relationships, most prominently sleep and academic performance. Okay. So if you see changes in those areas, there may be a problem. How about like irritability when screen time is done? Irritability mostly shown when you try to take the screen away or take the devices away from the kid. If they react strongly, then they're having a mild withdrawal symptom. They're right. basically reacting to not having that chemical hit that they normally have. You know I'm asking because that's my 70-year-old right there. I that's mean, every, something. that's yeah. every kid right now. Yeah, and that, see, that's why and it's that's always hard to figure out exactly where is that threshold. Now, you see a lot of people sort of build the narrative that this is contributing to the breakdown in our social fabric and communication skills. How much truth is there to There's that? Some data that, I mean, there is some data that, that kids or the Generation D, these are kids 25 and under, have a shorter attention span. They do certainly speak less. They use text to graphic communication more. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they said that about rock and roll also. They said <laughs> that was going to end society. So I'm not sure it's quite that nefarious. All right. Yeah, we'll just have to see. Uh, now, on to the showing. Screenagers, again, growing up in the digital age. This is going to happen next week. This is on Wednesday. It's sponsored by Tara's Closet, and it's going to happen right at the Mandel JCC at the family room from 7 to 8.30. Uh, what can people expect from this screen? Well, it's a movie basically about digital addiction and technology addiction. It shows some of the neurobiology and some of the research that's involved and some of the things we do know about brain behavior relationships. And it's going to talk about the way parents need to respond. And the discussion afterwards will be about what parents can do to help manage their kids' technology use. You can't control it, but you can help manage it. By the way, the one thing you can do the most is control your own tech use in front of your children. That's a big issue. To lead by example? Exactly. That's a hard thing to do. Yeah, this is something I'd like to talk to you more about afterwards. We're going to talk more as that comes up again next Wednesday. Screenagers uh, is going to be screened there in West Hartford. Thank you so much, Doctor. You're very welcome. Thank you for taking the time.